To understand how to boost egg hatchability, you must understand the factors that affect egg hatching. Therefore, in the next few minutes, I will discuss the five major factors that inhibit egg hatchability as I also give you the best ways to solve these problems so as to increase the egg hatchability rates or percentages when you incubate your eggs either by using the machine or using a broody hen. When I was doing my research on how to boost egg hatchability organically, I went with the mentality of finding an organic supplement that have been tested and verified, but I could hardly find any. In conclusion of my deep research, when it comes to boosting egg hatchability, it all comes down to this easy and basic quiz that every farmer is in a position to do in order to boost egg hatchability whether using a brooding a broody chicken to sit on on the eggs or using an incubating machine but before we continue with this video as i have always said it takes a lot of effort into making this comprehensive and deeply researched content therefore i would be so glad if, if you'd do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel and also hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time that we post a new video on our channel also if you get value from our videos kindly make sure that you hit that like button Many farmers think of infertility and poor hatching environment used during incubation as the only cause of low egg hatching percentage, but this is just the tip of the iceberg and there are a lot of factors that causes low egg hatchability and the first one is storage after hens lay eggs in the laying nest or the laying boxes how you then store that egg will a hundred percent affect its rate or ability to hatch after an egg is laid and stays for more than 10 days don't incubate it this is because its hatchability is almost low than 40 percent after the egg becomes 10 days old or more. This is because at the carbon dioxide in the interior of the egg escapes and this affects the pH of the egg's interior making the albumen watery and also this leads to the death of the embryo meaning that it cannot hatch. Another thing is that when storing eggs the wide side should face upwards because it has an air space that keeps the embryo aerated which boosts hatchability. Avoid incubating eggs that have stayed for more than 10 days. The second thing is about nutrition. Hatchability of eggs greatly depends on the the quality of feeds that you use to feed your breeder chicken. A good feed that promotes egg hatchability should contain essential vitamins and minerals. Some of the vitamins that lead to low hatchability, if not supplemented in the breeder chicken's diet, include vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin B, and folic acid. Some of the minerals include seranium, zinc, calcium, among others. These minerals and vitamins should not lack in the feeds of the that you are using to feed your breeder chickens. Otherwise, the hatchability will decrease. Also, some of the anti-nutritive compounds in feeds that are poorly made can cause low hatchability. For example, gossipo found in poorly prepared soybean meal or the soybeans and using excess cotton seed cake leads to decreased hatchability. To avoid this, number one, you are going to make sure that you buy feeds from authorized, trusted, and reputable animal feed suppliers. The other thing is that to all make sure that you always supplement your breeder chicken. If you suspect any deficiencies, make sure that you watch our videos in this channel to know which organic supplements to use. Another alternative is to make sure that you supplement the chicken using multivitamin preparations from trusted companies. The third thing is about the hen itself. The first thing is age. And eggs from older hens 
have higher rates of infertility and low quality of yolk and albumin which negatively affect hatchability the second thing is the breed light breeds for example the leghorn and the isa brown lay eggs of higher hatchability percentage compared to heavier breeds like rod island red which have which lay eggs of low hatchability percentage the third thing is about the cock to hen ratio each cock should serve a minimum of 5 hens and a maximum of 10 hens any number that is more than 10 hens per cock increases the rate of egg infertility which lowers hatchability keep replacing the old stock and avoid incubating eggs from older hens the other thing is that choose a good breed and the third thing is that you maintain the required cock to hen ratio so that you can avoid hens laying unfertilized eggs the fourth problem is about the egg parameters and egg parameters is all about the physical quality parameters of the egg kindly avoid incubating eggs which have abnormalities for example abnormally big or, or abnormally small eggs should not be used for incubation make sure that the eggs that are being used for hatching are of medium size another thing is that make sure that you avoid eggs with cracks and that are dirty washing an egg Uh, destroys the protective cuticle which is on the eggshells that prevents the entry of the disease causing microorganisms into the egg therefore when you wash away this cuticle you are predisposing the egg into getting infected with the disease causing microorganisms The fifth thing is about the environment. The incubation conditions will 100% affect the hatchability of eggs. The required parameters are number 1 a temperature of 37.2 to 39.9 degrees Celsius. Number 2 is about a relative humidity of 50 to 60%, a good ventilation that allows oxygen to reach the eggs during the incubation and also adequate light is also needed to help in boosting hatchability during incubation the eggs should be turned at certain intervals this helps to improve hatchability high temperatures in the incubator leads to loss of moisture from the interior of the egg and also leads to deterioration of the albumen which lowers hatchability therefore temperatures and humidity in during incubation are so critical to egg hatchability another environmental aspect is that breeder hens under heat stress usually lay low quality eggs which affect the hatchability percentage therefore make sure that hens that are used to produce eggs to be used for incubation are in an environment free of heat stress as you have learned about hatchability and how to make sure that you improve the percentage of the eggs that are hatching after you incubate them i suggest also that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to choose chicks that will survive the brooding stage 100%